Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're going to continue our discussion about electricity. How to understand it, how to apply it to your life in, again, putting on solar power on your van or whatever you're doing. Uh, today we're going to talk about voltage. In my last video we talked about a simple analogy of, um, of amperage. Amperage, we compared amperage to quarters, amp hours to a quarter in a bank. And so I thought that was fairly effective and I got a lot of good feedback. Thank you. So today we're going to talk about voltage because the th big three are amps, volts, and watts. Uh, and you really need to have a, something of a grasp of the three of those before you can really know what you're doing with solar. We're on, of course, we're on the top of my van. We're in Quartzsite. Um, this is my, I'm about done here being in Quartzsite and I'm going to be heading out soon. Uh, and so it's just really pretty. I just like this shot. So that's why we're right here getting this shot. Uh, but the best way, to, one of the people, one of the analogies people love it, when it comes to electricity is water. Water, flowing water, is, has in a lot of ways is a good comparison, a good analogy to, to electricity. If you imagine a, a river in a stream flowing, well, the... Um, there's a certain volume of water going down a stream and then when it comes to a narrow place, say in a canyon between two rocks, it, it constricts and the water speeds up. Maybe it's really slow in the wide spots and really fast and under a lot of pressure in the narrow spots. And then imagine that it goes down a little ways and there is a, um, a wheel on the water and the wheel is turning, being turned by the force of the water. And so that water then is doing work. Well, those three are a really good analogy, or as good an analogy as we can come up with, for electricity. The amount of water flowing in the stream can be compared to amperage. So we said we have a certain number of amps per hour. Well, now we're talking instead of gallons of water, we're talking amps per hour. So there's a good analogy there in a volume of water flowing either flowing into your battery and being stored or being taken out of your battery. Remember, we talked about all that. Uh, 240 watt amp uh, solar panel putting in uh, 20 amps into your battery and you taking out a certain amount. So that's the stream, a certain number of gallons per hour flowing through the stream. Now the next one is pressure. Because if it's a big wide spot, it's going to move slowly. Same amount of water. There's just the same number of gallons in the river. But it's wide and no pressure. But then if it comes to a constricted area, all of a sudden it's moving really fast. And it's wild. That's what we call it, don't it? We call it wild, wild water. Uh, uh, fast water. And so it's under a lot of pressure and it's moving really fast. And it's kind of dangerous. Uh, at the same time, a certain amount of work is being done, and so that pressure is voltage. Let me go back before we start talking about work. That is voltage. That's the amount of pressure and force pushing the the volt the electricity through the wire. Again, this is these are very weak analogies. That's not really what happens, but it's something for our mind to grasp hold of. And finally, work. And we do we talk about work as watts. A certain number of watts does a certain amount of work. A uh, perfect analogy is a 100 watt light bulb. You have a picture in your mind. When I say 100 watt light bulb, you turn on 100 watt 100. You turn on that bulb, and a certain amount of light comes out, and it does work. But if you have a 10 watt light bulb, uh, a very little amount of work is done. Right? There's very little light. Or if you have a thousand watt light bulb, boom, that's the sun. Uh, so there's a certain amount of work being done per watt. So if you have a 500 watt blender versus a 1500 watt blender, you know that that 1500 watt blender is going to be more, much more powerful. And you can put in a lot of broccoli and turn it on and they'll just grind all that broccoli right up. So uh, something really hard like bro broccoli or potatoes or uh, whatever, carrots. So you know that you can compare watts to work performed by electricity. Now we don't, I don't understand anything I've just told you. That's just a simple analogy that's out there and you don't need to understand it. I, that's, we don't need to be electricians here or uh, electrical engineers. We just need to have some few concepts. So voltage, now we're gonna concentrate on voltage today. Uh, and 
so there's pressure in it. It's like there's a certain amount of pressure and force. And the thing to understand is just like water can be speeded up and slowed down, voltage can ver be very, e very easily be speeded up and slowed down. So um, this is a 240 watt panel, that's why we're up here on the roof. Uh, and this is a 140 watt panel and this is a 100 watt panel. This 100, 240 watt panel is high voltage. It is producing um, uh, it's a 24 volt panel and this these two are both 12 volt panels now here's something very important that you you got to know about voltage voltage is nominal that means uh, nomina is a uh, the Greek or Latin I don't know uh, word for in name it's the name it's in name only so this 24 volt panel is actually producing probably 30 or 34 volts uh, that's what's coming out of it. If I put a voltmeter on it, it'll say about 34 watts, 34 volts, excuse me. This 240 watt 12 volt panel is probably producing 18 volts. Uh, if I put a, a, um, if I put a uh, voltmeter on it, it's going to say 18. Same with this 100 watt panel. If I put a voltmeter on it, it'll say 18 volts. So it's a name only. So for example, now these are going into my battery. This is going to an MPPT controller because that the high voltage is this is at least 34 volts, 30 to 34 volts, uh, and so only an MPPT controller can handle that kind of voltage. These are also going to an MPPT controller, but a PWM controller could handle them. Uh, I just prefer MPPT. So uh, then, then the the job of the controller is to convert. Uh, change, that's not a, let's not use that word convert, is to change the high voltage to 12 volts. So this comes in as 18 volt and it goes out as whatever the battery needs at that moment. So it changes the voltage because voltage is very easily changed. Imagine a garden hose attached to your house. Uh, you, you turn it on and it comes out pretty fast, doesn't it? But you put your finger your thumb over the end. All of us have done this as kids. You put your finger over the end of the hose and man it squirts like crazy. You change the pressure super easily. You can change the voltage of these things super easily with a mechanical device and we're not going to go into that because that's just more complicated and I don't understand any of it myself. All I know is for the perfect example is your phone. It's probably a 5 volt phone that uses a, uh, a little USB cord, right? And so you can plug that USB cord into a 12 volt adapter and put it into a 12 volt cigarette lighter plug. Or you can plug it into 110 volt. And so the device changes it from 110 to 5 or from 12 volt to 5. Very easily changed. Just a little electronic device. So voltage is very malleable. It, it can change all the time. And that's important because you have to know the voltage of your panels before you buy one. Can the voltage, can your, reg, can your controller handle the voltage? Uh, and so another example is you have a 12 volt battery and you want to know what is the condition of my 12 volt battery. Is it full? Is it half? Is it low? Really low or really full or what? Well, you look at the voltage, don't you? You get out your voltmeter and you look at that and you say, well, the, vo the voltmeter will tell me the condition of my battery. If it uh, says 12.8, then my battery's full. If it says 12.0, my battery is very low. Unfortunately, that's not true. And we're gonna talk about that at length, probably on the battery video. And so, it's very important that you understand voltage. And so that's why we're up here on the roof.